purchase I um I used to get so much in trouble Pepe during love. school. Um, I like to talk about my melody issue another day. I I would do so much because I didn't care about school. There was a point where my teacher got so mad at me, they picked up my entire desk, threw it out the door. What? And then I just stand it up what? and sit outside by myself. <coughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I. What kind of school did you go to? It was a school that was like it was like a private school, you know, and like it was supposed to be for like really smart kids, cause like I was like I like it was the entrance exam was an IQ test. So you didn't belong. Oh. Well, my IQ test apparently said I did belong, but the problem was that I actually didn't apply myself at all. I was like a straight C student, and when I was in there, I would do nothing but cut up and make trouble. There was a point where the teacher were just so effing done with me. All of them were so done with me. So, yeah, my teacher, he used to have like this, um, like I used to do like so, I would just troll the teacher so much. Um, like, oh my, my teacher God. would always, whenever you he was like, a horrible student. I was. Whenever my teacher would like, um, be like, <laughs> You know, upset with somebody, like someone was like talking in class, someone wasn't paying attention. He would always go and walk over and talk to the trash can in the room as if it was like his emotional support animal or like someone to yell at, you know? He's like, <laughs> like it's his wife. He's like, man, these god dang kids, all they do is they effing talk all the time. I might as well just talk to the trash can at this point. They're so effing annoying, et cetera, et cetera. So he would berate <laughs> the trash can. can. Yeah, you can be the trash can. All right. So anyway, like all these kids, they just suck so effing much and I'm so tired of it. Like, I don't even think I should come into school tomorrow etc etc right he would be like that he would join a walls to a trash can right so i have a bright idea of hello trash talking teachers you're a trash can okay you're a trash can okay so i had the i had the bright idea <laughs> so i had the bright idea of someday i went out and i acquired a pair of walkie talkies so the next time the teacher went to talk to the trash can i put it in the trash can no. So, so the tr so the trash can talked back. He's like, he's like, all these oh epic kids, they just caught up in class. I don't even think I should be here. I should go home right now. And the trash can's like, you should go home right now. And then he's just like, did you listen? What? Did you listen to the trash can? No, he didn't. He reached in. He grabbed the walkie-talkie. And he's like, what the f*** is this? What is this? And I was like, I, 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 <laughs> I was in the back of the class, just like hunching down like this, bro. <laughs> the problem with high IQ students is I like their how high like just sit in the back of the class where you can cause the most trouble. The yep. troubled kid. Yep. But the thing was, they organized the classrooms by like, uh, like how smart you were, basically, like what your grades were. So if your grades were really bad, you got moved to the. <laughs> yeah, you were all the way the I, I, so I, what I did was, I wanted to do the prank, right? So I swapped. I was in the front of the class, obviously. I wasn't in the back, cause my grades were bad. So what I did was, one day I swapped with a kid in the back. I didn't explain why, and then that allowed me to do it. And obviously, uh the teacher didn't notice, cause just one person swapped. Uh, <laughs> I like how you get punished for being bad. You're like, you, you, yeah. you're doing bad, so you're just like, go in the back, and I'm not bother with you. Fuck yeah. you, fail my class, I don't give a shit. Yeah, thinking back on that school is actually really <laughs> hardcore. I don't know why, though. Peace out, Girl Scouts! <laughs>